Hey guys, that to help you, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble the iBook G4 and uh, how to uh, put the hard drive into it, if that's what you're doing. But uh, mainly this is for uh, how to disassemble it. Um, tools you need is really simple, it's this, and uh, one of these, I forget which size it was, but uh, I'll go over that in the video. So, uh, I'll be doing, I'll be putting this together in parts as, uh, like not parts you need to, but like parts together. As um, I can't hold the camera and unscrew things at the same time, um, but uh, I guess we'll start off with uh, using this and we'll unscrew this, and then use the flat end to uh, pop it out. Unscrew this, flat end to pop it out. Unscrew this here and flat end to pop it out, and all the normal screws will be unscrewed in the back. So I'll just give me a second to do that. So once all those are unscrewed, um, you can pop them out, put them to the side, and then uh, you'll need to take out these torque-like uh, things, and um, then you'll be able to pop this off, which is really hard. I'll show you guys a trick to doing it. It's like, I don't know, it's just really, really hard, but this one I've taken apart a lot, so um, it should be fairly simple for me to do this so uh, I'll be back as soon as I got all those things out. And then there's one here, here, and here, and uh, it's one of these sizes. I guess I'll figure that out. Okay, so once I have that done, uh, keep in mind the one in the middle is fairly smaller than the other ones, as you can see there. Uh, the right size is this size. I'm not sure what size it is, but uh, you can see it right there what size it is. I'm pretty sure that I've heard that it's a T9 size. So then you just have to pop this out, which um, pretty much take the flat head. Um, just take the flat head and the screwdriver and pop that out. Then just uh, work your way around. So uh, I'll come back as soon as I get this white part off. Okay, guys. Um, one thing I forget to mention when you're doing that is um, cracking noises and stuff like that is normal. Um, once you're the casing off, you can just put that aside somewhere. Uh, doesn't really matter where. So I'm gonna throw it over here. I'm like, I can see I'm on my bed though. But uh, I guess we'll not, we'll now flip it over to the other side. Um, then we can open it up. Um, move these out of the way. Um, you can see the keyboard right here. Um, then we have to pull these little tabs over here. And you will remove the keyboard. And uh, then you need to remove the airport card, depending on if you have one. That's is uh, really simple. Just unplug this using the flathead screwdriver. Pull these up using a flathead screwdriver. It will open up. Pull back the wire if it's getting in the way. Um, they should open up. And you can just pull this little tab that's they built right on there for you. It'll come right out. Put the airport card over here. There should be nothing there. You just have to unscrew these screws, which will come back as soon as the screws are unscrewed. And uh, I'll show you guys how to take out the RAM and the keyboard. So, uh. Okay, guys, so after you've done that, you have to unscrew these screws over here, here, and uh, here. Um, there's no other screws around anywhere. I end up undoing this because, uh, I have threaded screws in this one for some reason. Two screws are threaded, so I can't unscrew them no matter how hard I tried. See? Um, unless the screwdriver just messed up, but, uh, unscrew the other one. So, then what you want to do is you want to put your screwdriver over here on flat tip. Undo this, it'll come over, and then this entire top spot should come over. Come off, and then I'll come back to show you guys the wire is gonna have to unplug. All right, so there's gonna be a wire here, and the wire over here you have to unplug, which I probably be able to do this on camera. Just gonna get out. This is for, uh, I think, the power cord. And this is for speakers over here. It will come right out. And then you just have to. All right, since I didn't unplug, since I didn't get to unplug my keyboard. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do this. Alright, so, now, come right out. You guys won't have a problem because you'll probably be able to do your keyboard. Um, I do this a different way than most people. Um, as you can see, it's bent over here because I've done the hard drive in this before. Um, trackpads. Oh. Okay, so what you want to do is, uh, 
Unscrew any screws you see. This one's a little messed up because people have taken it apart before, stupid people besides me. Um, just unscrew this one. Uh, unscrew this one. It will be a lot more for you guys. Um, this one's missing screws, so. I'll take, I'll unscrew these now and I'll come back as soon as I get it open. Alright guys, when I do this, you can kind of see the way I do it. I bend this up like this and, uh, it makes it really a lot easier than I have to unscrew like thousands of tiny little screws you can risk losing. But uh, right here is the hard drive connector cable, which is, um, you can see ribbon cable, gotta be careful with this. Um, this plugs into this part and I'll come back, uh, and just plug it right in. Um, to remove the hard drive from it, um, which I'll grab the old one from this, which has already been taken out. It'll be like this, and then you just pretty much, um, take the screwdriver and as gently as possible you can, uh, it'll come out. This one, as you can see, is a little bit bent from me taking it out, but luckily it was trash, so... I'm gonna probably gonna make a destruction video on that. But, uh, um, put the hard drive in and I'll come back. Alright guys, so as you can see, the hard drive is now in there. This is the new one, uh, I'm just make sure, okay. Here's the trash one. Gonna make sex real. You can hear it's doing the click of death. You can hear the clicking. But, uh, now I'll reassemble this and I'll make a video on booting up for the first time and we'll see if, um, this hard drive came with an operating system. Okay guys, so, it seems as if this hard drive did not come with a uh, operating system. So I guess I'm going to have to get a operating system disk or something like that. I guess I'll be doing it soon. Um, so yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe.